So I thought I'd do a, a quick trip over to the mall and uh, kind of show you guys a little bit about, I mean, I could obviously walk through the whole mall and crap would take me all damn day, but uh, you know, just kind of bits and pieces of the mall and you know, what's here and uh, you know, the grocery store and just kind of bits and pieces of the mall just to get an idea. As you know, like this is right across the street. I mean, I live right here on the left, the mall's here on the right. And, uh, and that is one of the key reasons why I chose this particular area. Um, there's just, there's so much, you know, as someone who's new to the area, um, new to the country even, right? Uh, this just provides a lot uh, and it makes the transition, you know, a lot easier. And, and why that is, is um, you know, your grocery's here, your department store is here, so if you need towels and sheets or whatever, it's, and you know, it's all right here, right? And there's also restaurants and shops and, you know, just makes it really incredibly easy. There's a movie theater here. Oh, it's starting to rain a little bit. Uh, so movie theater, all kinds of shops, uh, you know, just tons, tons available. <clears throat> All right, it's starting to rain, so I wanted to cross here quick. Um, yeah, and they do, you know, I think, you know, one of the big differences of malls here is, um, is uh, you know, they got, it's just this huge, you know, social event. You know, they got concerts and they got, uh, you know, all kinds of parades and stuff during Cinelog. It was just massive. Uh, so it's a really a completely different scale of what we have in the West. Hold on one second. Hello, how are you? This water. Hello, man. So, yeah, the malls. Well, they have a little security thing. They used to do the heat temperature. Back when I was here in August, they were actually, um, they take your temperature uh, through like, you know, like scan devices. So you were checking you for to make sure you were uh, not sick. All right. So we're here in the mall. Uh, I think this mall is, well, this particular part here is like, what it looks like one here let's take a look it is one two three three stories uh but certain stores like the metro is uh that's like five or six stories um and then this food court area here is like five or six stories so anyways it's like three stories right here of you know all different kinds of shops and stuff, your traditional stores. I mean, I wasn't really a big mall guy in the United States, but but so some of these brands I don't really know, uh, but a lot of them I do, you know, um, but it's just fun. Like I said, it's a big social uh, thing for me. I can get out and kind of walk around and it's also, uh, you know, lots of restaurants and food here, so that's awesome. Uh, some electronics you can get. Although, honestly, getting your electronics in the United States is is uh, smarter. They're a lot, they're a lot cheaper there. Uh, so, like taxes and stuff like that. By the time you get them over here, they're they're actually marked up. So it's better to get your electronics in the United States. But you know, clothes and things like that, and you know, you're fine to get here too. Although the quality isn't quite as good. Like, I have some really nice golf shirts that I picked up and I you know I don't know if you could find those here or not I don't know you probably could I just haven't seen them around here quite yet but anyways yeah so let's take a look here at the mall so they'll do like concerts and stuff here they did a concert here last week um, all kinds of people lined up in this terrace watching the concert so that was pretty cool during Cinelog I think I actually have some video footage of that where they uh, a lot of people in here for that. But wanted to show you really quick here, this outside terrace, because this is kind of the, the name part of the, 
of the mall where you do uh, Ayala Terrace. So they have these terraces out here. And just, I mean, look how gorgeous this is. It's unbelievable. And I'll put in some pictures too that I took of this at night. And actually, I think I have a video of this at night that I'll, I'll insert as well here. Um, it's just, man, incredible. Just so beautiful. Stunning. Yeah. So yeah, along this row here, especially on the other side, a bunch of little restaurants. Half of them, most of them I haven't even checked out. I've got my favorites. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. All right, so we're coming up on the Metro here, and this is the kind of the main um, department store in this mall. And I think it's six different floors. Um, at the very bottom, you've got like a hardware store, mm -hmm. and then on the floor above that, you've got like the grocery store, and then random floors all the way throughout. So we're gonna go down and actually check out the grocery store real quick. So this is, you know, all part of the mall, mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, I'm going to check out the grocery store. I don't uh, need any groceries as I was just here yesterday, so I'm not gonna pick anything up, but I'll show you around real quick. It's also Wednesday in the middle of the day here, so it's a little bit slower, which is great. So yeah, I mean, it's, you can see here, what, a dozen or so main aisles. Um, so it's just, it's massive. And, uh, you know, I, pretty much anything, anything you want. Here's one thing that's interesting, the deodorant. Um, all you find, men and probably women, I don't know, but all you find is like roll-on um, uh, spray. You know, it's kind of wild. There's no other kind of deodorant. Uh, but yeah, anyways, here we are uh, in the grocery store. 
just kind of walk through here real quick. Like I said, I don't really need anything. Um, as I was just here yesterday picking up some things. Uh, but you got all different kinds of foods. And, you know, they, there are a lot of different kinds of immigrants here uh, or people vacationing. So you're going to have like aisles coming up here like Korean or Western or you're going to have, let's see, where's it at? Yeah, so here's, here's a Western France, Germany, Mexico, Canada aisle. And so you'll find foods that, you know, may be associated with those areas. I mean, thought that was kind of funny. You know, so they do a little, lot of organizing like that. So it's just kind of fun. Um, uh, one of the things that was kind of interesting to me was the lack of dairy. And it, I couldn't even find it forever. Um, it's just, it's uh, really tiny. Uh, the milk actually that you get, it's kind of down here. Actually, that's right there. It's uh, the blue, it's powdered milk. And uh, I, I haven't had that since I was a kid living on the farm in South Dakota. Uh, but coming up here is the dairy section. It's just tiny and you can't, I don't think they have even a gallon of milk up here. You know, it's all tiny quart stuff. So my brother Gary, who drinks like a gallon of milk a day would be, would be hating life here. Yeah, I mean, check this out. Here's, here's the dairy. And here's, here's like the yogurt, you know? Uh, so that was something I noticed right away that's different. Um, you know, so there's just not a lot of, so, you know, the type of uh, protein that is here is like you have a ton of chicken um, and a lot of pig, uh, with a lot of pork. You know, chicken and pork is really, really popular here. And of course, fish. Uh, but here's eggs and stuff. So wild looking eggs. I don't know what the heck these are. Oh, quail eggs. Yeah. Um, and some fish here. Some fresh, I mean, that's, I've been eating a ton of fish. I haven't really gotten anything from here, but you know, some fresh fish, uh, lots of chicken, you know, and the price on that, it's like what, 245 pesos. I could look that up when I get back and convert how much that is. It's like a couple bucks, you know, really, really cheap, really cheap. Although, you know, this is considered an expensive grocery store for, you know, you get out of the city a little bit, you can, you can eat cheap. I mean, you can even eat cheap in the city. I had lunch the other day, a chicken rice and uh, bottled water, and it was less than $2. Just unbelievable how cheap you can eat out here. Uh, so yeah, here's some fresh veggies and stuff, and you know, carrots, what's this, 44 pesos, so that's less than a dollar. Um, yeah, tomatoes, I think onions are a little bit expensive right now, somehow there's some onion shortage. Uh, but another fruit I've been really getting into that uh, is just, they're so amazingly delicious are mangoes. Holy mackerel, these things are incredible. I just absolutely love mangoes and eating a ton of those. Um, but yeah, so the bananas are a lot different here too. Uh, they're a little bit smaller and they taste a little bit different. I don't think they're maybe as quite as sweet, uh, but they're good. Oh, this is a uh, durian. This is a really popular fruit as it uh, smells rather interesting. Hey, what's up? How you, how's it going? And more mangoes and stuff here. So, um, like I said, I, I'm not picking anything up. I was just here yesterday, but uh, yeah. So, yeah, here we are. It's the uh, it's a Filipino grocery store, and, and you know more fruits and vegetables here. I think the grapes are actually a little bit expensive, probably because they get imported. But um, I do know strawberries. They grow kind of up north. Um, uh, in the area, I think it's called Baggio. Uh, grapes are imported, so these are a little expensive, I believe. So let's take a look. 134 pesos, so what, that maybe not quite $3? Yeah, it's probably more expensive than it is in the States, right? Um, so yeah, here we are. You know, these, those things over there, I bought some of these. I was watching another vlogger. He was telling me about these. Mang mangosteen? I have no idea what the heck those are. 
I've never even seen them before, but I guess they're pretty good. Um, and I, so I'm gonna try those out. Uh, so yeah, that's a grocery store here in the Philippines. Really big, you know, a lot going on. So yeah, it's a grocery store.